and that raises an important point. When you hear about research on diets and people talk about, oh, there was a study done, actually it's last year, one done in, in the British Isles with a, a, that proved that a low carbohydrate diet was bad for you. But it was a four, four day long study. Right, right. You know, if, if they'd done a four week long study, they almost assuredly would have gotten the opposite result. But A, it's cheaper to do a short term study, and B, if you want to prove, if you set out to prove that a, quote, Atkins diet is bad, um, do a four-day study, and you'll, you can probably find things that aren't functioning all that well in those four days. But if somebody has 30 or 40 excess pounds of body fat, and like me, had high blood pressure that was getting to a dangerous level, um, uh, you know, if, if you make the investment of getting through that adaptation period of, of a few weeks, and then you get to a place where you feel well and function well, and you take away the carbohydrate blockade of fat. So, so you open up the body's ability to burn fat as its primary fuel. Then you enable that person to get to a much healthier state. Now, I would ask you, which is more dangerous, being at day four in, in the transition phase of a low carbohydrate, or getting through that transition phase and, and shedding that very dangerous central fat that us guys tend to collect and carry, and with it, the, the side effects that we have of uh, hypertension, high blood sugar, um, all those things that eventually potentially lead to diabetes. 